Hey everybody, it is lovely Jezebel here, and welcome back to Pink Wednesdays. I am aware I missed, you know, a couple weeks of Pink Wednesdays, but hopefully, hopefully, this amazing, majestic build will make up for it. Today's build is dedicated to not the brave from Critical Role, the second addition to my Critical Role builds series. It's not a series, it's just a thing I'm doing. I don't know why I said series. So I start out by building the base of the tree, the trunks and then the branches. And I'm using the brush cylinder tool. And it wasn't until later in the video where I'm like more than halfway done with building the trunk and stuff that I realized I can use the line tool. Now let me point out, I didn't even know the line, the line command even existed because I'm still new to a world edit. So, I mean, you know, I learned something new today. <laughs> After discovering the line command, I then discovered the smooth command. The results were very unexpected, but it looked cool. Like I was totally digging the aesthetics and the abstractness of it, but Maybe for like a later or a future project, like for an adventure map or something if I ever make one. But yeah. So next I just start manually smoothing out the branches and the trunks and stuff, placing down each individual block, breaking some of the locks and stuff. And then I use the replace tool to replace all the logs with all facing logs. And then this part, this part was my favorite part of the build, placing the sakura blossoms. I don't know why, maybe I just think it was like that instant gratification of adding like a pop of color against the gray logs. It was just very satisfying. And then we move on to the stick figure of Not the Brave. I use iron blocks to like map out the proportions. I use the gold blocks to indicate where the joints were. And then I just use the diamond blocks to indicate where the pelvic bone is in relationship to the femur. After I'm satisfied with the proportions and whatnot, I start adding some meat to them thighs. I build up on the arms, the legs, the torso, I plop down a head on top of the shoulders because I'm pretty sure not have a head. You got some weight that you should let me carry, yeah. Remember when we were so close, right beside me then you walked away. Baby, you were a stone's throw. Tell me what you want me to say But now you're just stone cold I thought forever's what you wanted to be And this is the moment when you come running, running back to me Later on in this building process, I regretted placing that shoulder there. I placed it too far in into the socket, so there's just like no space for an armpit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Separation's only temporary. I know we fight and it gets kind of scary. Our commitment, it could never scare me. You've got some weight that you should let me carry. Yeah. Remember when we were so close. Right beside me, then you walked away. Baby, you were a stone's throw. Just tell me what you want me to say. I used the mask command and the brush sphere tool to paint on her green skin. And then working from the inner layer to the outer layer, I start adding on her clothes, starting with her pants, her tunic, and then onto her cloak. And then I start working on her hood, and then I also add in the mask, her porcelain doll mask, and then I add in the hair, and then there you go, there's Knot. There's beautiful cute little Knot. I think the bad thing about this knot is that she looks scrawny because her clothes are more skin tight compared to her like original depiction where she has baggy clothes. But I decided to forego the baggy clothes because I feel like it would be kind of weird looking to build that in Minecraft. It would just end up making her, instead of looking like baggy clothes, it would just make her look like she has like beefy meat on her bones. shaders just to see what the glowstone looks like in the shaders because my original idea was to have you know not chilling in a tree sending off a message and so I was going to build like the rope or the string and have it like glittery and all glowy like using the glowstone but then I kind of like scrapped the idea because I wanted the build to be more whimsical than that and so I decided to surround Knot with fireflies and I would imagine that Knot would be curious by them, interested in them, because they're quote unquote shiny. And then I started placing the fireflies. Originally, I was going to do it all manually. I was going to place each firefly manually until I remembered I could use world edit and just copy and paste it and then rotate it when I needed to. So there's that. <laughs> After placing the fireflies all around the tree, I took a step back to look at the whole picture and I felt something was missing. So I placed glowstone inside the sakura blossoms. I felt this definitely made the build more complete. It gave off that warm feeling that I was trying to depict. 
this whole idea that in this moment, not is just a young girl, regardless that she's a goblin, she's taking the time to appreciate her life right now. Her life with Caleb, her life of meeting new friends, her life of discovering all these wonders in the world and becoming a stronger person. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my build. I know I did. It was very fun building it. I very, <laughs> I'm very happy with how it turned out, especially the tree since this is the first time I've ever built a large scale organic tree. Thank you for joining me on Pink Wednesdays. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.